Dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Shiv Chemicube. This is an online chemistry tutorial. We catch my previous videos either from my home page or from my YouTube channel. Next, we are going to discuss the topic molecular rearrangements and transformations from the part rate, genes and transformations in organic chemistry. Today, we are going to discuss wagner mewin rearrangement. Molecular rearrangement. Rearrangement reactions are an interesting class of reaction wherein a group or an atom migration occurs during the course of reaction. There are two types of molecular rearrangement, intermolecular and intramolecular. Intermolecular means the migration group is first detached and later reattached at another site. And the intramolecular rearrangement uh, means the group that migrate is not completely detached from the system in which rearrangement is taking place. And this kind of migrations can be occurred to electron deficient carbon sometimes or electron deficient nitrogen or electron deficient oxygen or in some cases electron rich carbon. And we are going to discuss first the rearrangement occurs to electron deficient carbon atoms. And the work, and this type of rearrangement where the carbon migration occurs. First example is uh, that is our today's topic Wagner Mervin. And what is this Wagner Mervin rearrangement? Here, this is the general scheme of the reaction and you are taking alcohol, acid catalyst alcohol uh, gives alkene. And in this particular reaction, alkyl group migrates with its bonded pair to electron deficient carbon atom, that is carbocation. And here you can see you are taking alcohol and in this particular alcohol you can see that in this carbon there are three alkyl group and one of its alkyl group that is here this one R1 get migrated to this carbon atom and you can see here this R this R dash here so it is an one two rearrangement and there is an intermediate here that is carbocation intermediate and this is a carbocation intermediate having one two rearrangement and where it involves either in some cases hydrogen or in some cases alkyl group migrations occurs okay and coming to the mechanism first step is the formation of carbocation intermediate and generation of electron deficient center so you are you have an alcohol here in the presence of acid dehydration occurs so alcohol get protonated first like this and it form an hydronium and this hydronium get uh, water get eliminated from here and it form a carbocation this is the first step then second step is the dehydration of alcohol uh, okay take place is similar to SN1 or even reaction and then migration of R group occurs and in this particular example uh, here R dash it is migrating to this carbon atom okay and it form a, another carbocation and in this particular case this was actually secondary carbocation and after migration it formed a tertiary carbocation so the driving force for the migration is 
the, the formation of highly stable carbocation we already know that tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation this is the driving force for the migration and next one is after the migration of r, r group elimination occurs and this hydrogen get eliminated this is very fast reaction and uh, you get an alkene so this is a general scheme or a mechanism of wagner maybe rearrangement and the simplest system is the uh, neopentyl cation formation and uh, this is the neopentyl carbocation here alkyl group that is methyl group here migrate from this carbon to next carbon and they form tertiary this is tertiary carbocation actually this is primary carbocation and it form a tertiary after the migration and it form a stable carbocation the next step is the elimination step that is hydrogen get uh, eliminated here and it form carbocation so next we are looking at uh, what are the conditions that can give rise to carbocations one reaction is this in this particular example neopentyl bromide in the presence of lewis acid or alcohol and you get carbocation and in the presence of lewis acid and uh, silver bromide can get eliminated and uh, you can get uh, primary carbocation and uh, like this here this methyl group can migrate here you this middle group can migrate and it forms tertiary carbocation and here one hydrogen gets eliminated from here or some cases a substitution of alcohol at a weak basis you we are using ethanol so it can get substituted on this carbocation and two types of product can be obtained and uh, this is we already seen uh, generation of carbocation is possible uh, by using strongly ionizing solvent or lewis acid like silver and the second uh, step the second case is the acid catalyzed uh, hydration can also generate carbocation like this this also we have seen in previous case and acid hydrolysis and third case in the case of uh, amine we can do uh, treat this amine with a nitrous acid and it form it can form azobenzene trivalent this is a uh, n2 uh, you get uh, this n2 and uh, by treating amine with a nitrous acid and this n2 can be eliminated and it can also generate a carbocation neopentyl carbocation this is the third method and uh, the fourth one is alkene can protonate it like this you can see here this alkene can react with this protonic acid protonic acid and hcl like hcl and it form a secondary carbocation and uh, hydrogen added to this primary carbon because uh, it generates second carbocation so these are the methods that can be used for the generation of carbocation next one hydrogen migration and uh, this is the uh, similar to neopentyl except the difference is you have a methyl group here in neopentyl and here in this particular example hydrogen can migrate to this carbon atom okay and you can see here become ch3 and it form a tertiary carbocation right and another case for hydrogen migration is in the, in the example is shown here by treating this amine with the protic acid it form a compound azo based compound and uh, this azo 
compound get eliminated, nitrogen get eliminated and form a primary carbocation. And here, the hydrogen from here, this get migrated to this primary carbocation, right? Then it forms CH3, the CH2 plus becomes CH3, it forms secondary carbocation. Then the hydrogen get uh, eliminated either from here or water can be added. Two kinds of product can be formed. And third case is uh, aryl migration. And aryl group has a greater migratory aptitude than hydrogen and methane. Do you know why? Here, in this particular example, two methyl group are here and it is uh, instead of a hydrogen again phenyl group here and it forms a carbocation like this after the migration but this carbocation was formed through an intermediate this intermediate and this intermediate is called phenonium intermediate this is phenonium intermediate and this uh, intermediate is highly stable having lower energy and because this phenyl group can act as a neighboring group and it can do anchymeric assistance we already studied what is mean by neighboring group participation or anchymeric assistance so it can act as an anchymeric group and that is why phenyl having higher migratory aptitude than hydrogen and methyl group and after the carbocation, once the carbocation is formed, the hydrogen from the next carbon get eliminated and it form alkene. Right? Next one, rearrangement in bicyclic system. This is very important. And first example is this camphenylol, conversion of camphenylol to sandine. And sandine is the, one of the major uh, ingredient or uh, for in sandalwood. This is responsible for fragrance of sandalwood. And this is a bicyclic system. You have a hydroxyl group here and two methyl group here. And in, in this product, you can see that this black one methyl group migrate to here and it form alkene in the presence of acid. So, so what is the mechanism of that? First, the protonation of course, you can see that this protonation of this hydroxyl group occurs and uh, it forms hydronium salt. Then elimination takes place and form carbocation. So one possibility of elimination is hydrogen, hydrogen can be eliminated from here. This proton can be lost. But and it never uh, lose this proton. The reason is the alkene on uh, bridge bond is highly strained. So it cannot form a double bond in bridge position. So it is highly strained. So it never form. So then what is the next uh, possibility? Alkene migration. And here this methyl group gets migrated to here that is shown in next uh, figure you can see here methyl is migrated to here and this one is actually secondary carbocation after methyl migration it become tertiary so this is the driving force for migration then elimination even elimination occurs and hydrogen get eliminated and it forms sandy Okay, next one, conversion of isobonial to caffeine, so terpenoid. And in the system, you can see that there is a hydroxyl group here. And at the bridge, there is two methyl group and one methyl group here. And in acid catalyzed reaction, you get this product. This is called caffeine. And in caffeine, uh, this methyl group, this group has been shifted to here. You can see here. And, and there is a, ex, a exocyclic double bond here. 
and here there is no media proof. So, how does it happen? So, I have given number like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so I have numbered to understand which carbon is migrating and which carbon is moving. Okay, then first protonation occurs, then a carbocation is formed. So, carbocation is formed at the sixth position of carbon atom. Then uh, alkyl migration occurs, and here the fourth carbon atom is migrating to the sixth one. And you can see it here. This is, uh, you know, the fourth is migrating to six. Okay, so it is here, and this bond is breaking. Okay. This bond is breaking. That is why you are getting a carbocation here. Okay. So, this is same structure, but carbocation is at this fourth, fifth position. Okay. And this bond is fourth, five bond. This car, this CC bond is has broken. Okay. And I am redrawing this structure. What is happening is and you can see here this one two group is shifted to here okay one two and uh, the this one one two it is this is one and this is two and seven is coming at the bridge position okay one two seven okay one two seven seven is coming to bridge position and you can see it here, 6 here. And this one, this part has gone here. And 5, then it connected to five, uh, first carpet. Okay. So this part is gone to here. And this become bridge. 2 and 7, 6 become bridge now. And this part, 2, 3, 4, 6. It has come here, 2, 3, 4, 6. So, fifth carbon, you have a carbocation here and there is a methyl group. And first position, there is a 2 methyl group. And just rotate this part to little bit down and, and bring this ring to the top. And uh, you can see, rewrite or redraw this vector like this and the seven become here bridge position and the first carbon has come here and this is the carbocation next one elimination take place and uh, already migration take place the next one is uh, elimination the hydrogen can be eliminated from here and it form a double bond that is you are getting here caffeine this structure is Camphene. Okay, this is the second example, and the third example rearrangement in bicyclic system is uh, uh, where a system uh, undergo ring expansion and rearrangement. And this is the example, and you can see what are the changes occurs here. And here there is a four member tree, and this become a five membered system and two methyl group has retained and this alkene you know saturated and there, there, there is a chlorine at fourth position so here a ring expansion takes place okay so what is the mechanism of that first step is alkene in the presence of HCl a protonation occurs that is a simple reaction and uh, it generates a carbocation. Usually, carbocation uh, generated this position. Do you know why? Because tertiary is more stabilized. Next one here, alkyl migration takes place. And here, uh, there is a highly strained four member ring here. So, it undergo a ring expansion here. This one four bond broke, uh, break and they form a 1,5 uh, 
CC part. So you can see here. So this 1,4 has broken and it formed a 1,5. A ring expansion takes place because it is, you know, highly strained. And it generates a carbocation at fourth position here. You can see it here. Then uh, here you have a nuclear failure Cl minus that can attack that carbocation and it form this product. Okay, this product, chloride addition takes And in summary, we have steady rearrangement reaction. It's an interesting class of reaction wherein a group of or an atom migration occurs during the course of reaction. And Wegger Merwin is an one to rearrangement involving carbocation inter intermediate by the migration of either hydrogen or alkyl group. And it is a rearrangement of course to the electron deficient carbocation and the migration aptitude is good for phenyl group and we have learned various method for the formation of carbocations and uh, uh, we also discussed some rearrangement reaction in bicyclic system and we have given an example for uh, ring expansion reaction and uh, rearrangement and uh, that's all and uh, thank you for watching.